Hello there, Chris Jarvis at Acrylic Pixel here and welcome to this video about the OP1 field. Now, I have seen on the Teenage Engineering uh, Marketing that they are saying that the OP1 field is a hundred times better than the original OP1. And they've given a list of a hundred reasons as to why they think it's a uh, hundred times better. So there are these a hundred features. I'm going to go through all these features. So it's going to take some time. I'll probably split this video up. Um, we're going to have some categories. The categories are top tier. So the top reasons why you would buy an OP1 field, especially over the original OP1. We have a uh, mid tier. So nice, but not critical or possibly could have been updates in the OP1 original. Bottom tier. These are reasons not really to get an OP1 field over the original OP1. Um, or they're just rubbish, or they're just what the marketing team decided to sort of pad out uh, the hundred times better marketing uh, material. And we have a fourth category, which is not sure. So these are features that I either don't know what they are, I don't know what they do, or I can't be sure or haven't heard of how good the improvements are. So sometimes they're features, sometimes they're improvements. Um, so they're kind of things that I'm a bit skeptical about or just don't know about. I have not used an OP1, um, so I'm probably not the best guy to do this video. But I want this sort of content on the internet and this is the sort of content I'm going to create. Uh, so therefore, please let me know in the comments if I've made a big mistake, if I'm totally off base, or try and fill in some of the blanks and let me know what you think. Right, mid-tier. So. The mid tier is things that might have been able to be updated in the OP1. Um, they are things that I think are okay, they're nice, but they're not a deal breaker. They're not necessarily reasons why I would have bought the OP1 field. And here we go. New hold sequencer. I love me a sequencer. I don't know how it's different to the other sequencers. We'll have to wait and see. That's why it's in mid tier. Smooth knob interpolation. We all love a smooth knob especially when it's um, got interpolation. The reason why it's in the mid-tier is I've not had any criticism with the other knob interpolations. Um, so yeah, interesting to see how that's different, how much of it's an improvement, but that's why it's in the mid-tier. Wouldn't be a reason why you would buy an OP1 though, uh, field. QR code guide link. This is in the mid-tier, it's, it's not in the bottom tier because you, it's, a, it's a given. It's a thing that I've heard people really like about the new OP1 field is that it has QR code for the guide because the guides was the thing that was missing in the OP1, uh, the original. Green brightness control. Meh, it's fine. It's okay. Mid tier. Printed manual included. Again, that's really good. If the OP1 didn't have a printed manual included, that's pretty rubbish. So this is mid tier because it's just, you know, it's an improvement, but it's fine. Pop up infographics. Um, again, it's mid tier because it's nice. I've heard good things that people like the fact that you got pop-up infographics that the OP1 didn't have and you would be fumbling around in the dark trying to figure out what each knob did. So it's good that that's on this uh, OP1 field. Uh, new sawtooth and square LFO shapes. So LFO is the low frequency oscillator. So it's like a synthesizer. So the fact we've got new uh, waveform shapes, like sawtooth and square, that's great. That means we can come up with some cool, cool sounds. High resolution accelerometer. I'm not sure how the accelerometer is going to be used and how good it's going to be. We'll have to wait and see. That's why it's mid tier. Not a reason why you'd buy a synthesizer. Completely reworked UI. It's nice, not necessary, mid tier. Custom MIDI settings for connected devices. Again, nice, not a deal breaker. Tape name editor. Again, nice, but it's there. Fine. Up to 500 user patches. I think the OP1 had 100. So the fact that we've got 500 user patches, that sounds like a lot, so you'll never run out. Fine. Built-in user guide. Again, that's really good. Um, the OP1 didn't have that. So me, as a beginner, I'll be able to get to know it a lot quicker than I would have done if I bought the OP1. That's a good reason. Mid-tier, because it's not a deal breaker. New speaker with passive radiator. I've heard good things about that. Again, it's, uh, I'm probably going to be using my headset for the most part, my, my headphones. So the fact that it's got a nice speaker is nice, but it's not a deal breaker. New reverb effect, mother. I've heard really good things about that. One of the things the OP1 that was a criticism was the reverb. And the fact that it's got a new reverb, reverb effect is really good. And I've heard it and it sounds amazing. All new low profile aluminium. Aluminium? All new low profile 
aluminium body or aluminum uh, if you're if you're watching in the states. Uh, so hello, yeah, nice, a bit like an iPhone, not not a deal breaker. Mid mid tier. User patch rename, useful feature. Everyone's going to like renaming their patches. It's a little bit fiddly with the old knobs I've seen on some videos. Nice to have. Refined original patches. This is in mid tier because it's possible they're saying it's refined because of the stereo and the higher quality, and that's why it's original patch. Uh, you know, refined original patches. So it's a bit of a cop out. It's not really a reason. That's why it's mid tier. But it's nice that we've got them and that they're 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 not going to be the same as the original IP one. Um, now we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Is it ten? So we've got ten reasons as to why the open one field is a hundred times better, but they're all the same thing. And when I read them out, you'll understand why. So I'm just going to read them out and I say, it's nice, but these are all really one reason. So these 10 reasons are just one reason. Stereo synth sampler engine, stereo cluster synth engine, stereo digital synth engine, stereo FM synth engine, stereo phase synth engine. Can you see what the pattern is here? Stereo pulse synth engine, Stereo string synth engine, stereo tape tracks, stereo voltage synth engine, stereo drum sampler, you guessed it, engine. On the actual website, these were kind of all dotted around. They weren't all clumped together in one to make it obvious that this is just one thing. Obviously, it's the engines that are stereo. That's amazing. But I put them in the mid tier because they're one thing. It's not 10 things. That's just silly. So now I'm going to move on to the bottom tier. So join me for the bottom tier in the next video. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I hope this was entertaining. I hope this gave you some information and I hope you can fill in the blanks or things that I've missed out or blaringly obvious that I didn't get. Let me know what you think. Are the things in the wrong tiers? Um, am I correct? Are you hyped for some of the things in the top tiers? Um, are you thinking that things in the mid tier should be in the bottom tier? Um, are you going to clear up all of the not sure's for me with some video links? That'll be fun. Uh, so yeah, join me on my adventure when I get my OP1 field. Hopefully it's soon. I'll be able to create some music and I'll share it with you guys. Uh, like, comment, subscribe. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, and I will see you in the next one. Just a little bit about me. I'm Chris. Uh, I'm making an indie game called Focus Find. You can wishlist it on Steam. You can join my Patreon if you wanted to support me, the game, and the music I'll be making. And there'll be some you know, information on there, and you can go and have a good time there. Right, that's enough from me. Have fun, uh, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.